Hey, welcome to One Little Coder. Mid Journey has got a very new feature called image blending. There are two ways to do image blending. One is to use the same the existing image imagine image prompt and then you do image blending. And the second is there is a new blend uh, command. You can use the blend command and do image blending. I'm going to show you both the ways, but I want to start with blending. And before that, I want to show you a quick demo of what is image blending. Like, what do I mean by image blending? Image blending is a concept where you give two or more images to an AI solution like mid journey. And then it tries to take the attributes from both the images and blends it and gives you a new image. For example, I've got a very cute little girl wearing a white color tee and I've got a Batman. Now, when I give this to the new blending feature of mid journey, it is going to give me a result that looks like this. So the result is like this. So I've got a teen, um, but quite an angry face like a kid. Um, and the kid looks like, you know, uh, wearing Batman's armor, like with the Bat Batman logo on the t-shirt and sometimes, you know, with the Batman's ha cap. So this is how image blending works. And, um, I'm going to show you how you can do image blending for your own images, starting from scratch. The first thing is you need to have an account in mid journey. So for example, if you have never used mid journey, strongly recommend you to go to midjourney.com and then click join the beta. Once you click join the beta, you'll be taken to the discord server and inside the discord server when you go you would see some newcomer room where you can try some prompts so once you come here the first method i'm going to show you is i'm going to show you the newest way of doing it which is the blend command so look at this place where you can send a message and then type slash and then click blend sorry type blend slash and then blend once you type blend, you can actually see that it says um, blend images together seamlessly and then you can add up to five images. So now type blend and then space. Once you click space, you're going to get this option where you can drag and drop and upload new files. So this is where you're going to upload your new files. So I'm going to upload a cute baby photo and I'm going to upload a color splash. I'm not going to know I don't know actually what is going to be the result. Maybe the baby is going to be within the splash, but this is what I've got. And I'm going to send, just click send. Once you click send, mid journey has taken both these images without any prompt. It's just purely these two images, no prompt added. And you can see that it is going to start generating the image for me. Now, one thing for you to keep in mind is for you to get a really good result, it is good for you to keep the same aspect ratio. So if you have got the same aspect ratio of like both the images, you would probably get good result. And also this is like not every time you would get amazing result. This is again trial and error, like a lot of things, but this is something that you can try and then it actually works well. So in this case, uh, it actually looks quite scary. It, it almost feels like, you know, we have made the baby um, quite scary. Uh, I'm so sorry, baby, but you can see what it does. So I'm going to show you one more image and then we are going to see the second way how we can do the same image blending. So once again, go to the any of the room where you have got newbie and then go to the message slash blend. Once you type blend, you would see this command matching and then click it and then you can upload two images. So one, you can upload one splash. The second one, you can upload another kid and um, now click send. Once you click send, it is going to take the both the images that you gave like here and it is trying to create a new image that is a blend of both the image. Again, this is not an image to image replacement. You're not going to get the same image that you sent it in the first place. So that's something for you to keep in mind. If you upload a kid image, uh, it's not like green booth. You're not going to get the same image of yours. You can control certain parameters to say, you know, no photo um, and try to make it quite similar, but it is not going to be the same image because it's going to um, do imagination you can see you can see what it does happen so you can see the splash and then kids and all those things so now this is how it works um this works super amazing for a lot of images for you to get inspiration go to the left hand side again channels click blend showcase and you can see quite good images like for example uh, one thing that i was uh, super surprised is this so somebody uploaded this as one image and this as the second image and this is what they got this is quite brilliant and you can try these kind of images and also you can try uh, images like this like for example you have like an art here and you have got um, you have got 
another art you can blend these two art pieces and then get a new art like the, which is you know a combination of these two and again, these are like things where people have tried and then it has worked out for them sometimes you can keep one human picture and then you can put like a fireball or glass ball and then you can get it so there are a lot of different ways that you can get a good result but it's it's more of a trial and error and you need to try and then you can get some inspiration from the blend showcase but before this blend command was introduced you could still do blend and that is what i'm going to show you now go back again to one of the beginners rooms um, and instead of using blend now i'm going to encourage you to use slash imagine so just use slash imagine and then you can start with the prompt now instead of giving the prompt what we are going to do is we are going to actually give the url of the image so i'm going to go to a website like let's say pixels uh, inside pixels i'm going to just search for uh, some picture so i'm going to say um, long maybe asia i got some asia it says okay let's pick an image from there this image looks brilliant i've got an image of a taj mahal so i'm going to right click copy the image address just make sure it is actually the image so now copy it and paste it in your browser just to make sure that it is actually the image some websites do not do that now go back to your mid journey and give the prompt and then give a space and then again go back and then try to pick another image for example i want to pick autumn autumn or um, cherry blossom cherry blossom and see if i've got cherry blossom okay i've got beautiful cherry blossom here and there so i'm going to use this image this looks beautiful to me i'm going to again right click copy the image address go back to my mid journey discord server and paste it if you want you can add a prompt as well but i'm not going to add any prompt so i can add two images like this with a space inside the prompt and i've used imagine command and i'm going to press enter and you can see that now it has taken two different images and it is going to try to combine these two images and give us one final image i'm not sure again how it is going to look like it's it's quite not very predictable but the kind of results that you can get using this is quite amazing the images that you have seen um, whether it is on the blend showcase or the experiments that i've seen people doing it it is quite brilliant the kind of images that it can generate um, i am super amazed by the qu blend quality that it has got um it tries to put the cherry blossom in front of taj mahal so let's see what happens okay we got it so we have got uh, we have got the image we have got cherry blossom like literally we have got cherry blossom in front of taj mahal and also you can see the pink shade on taj mahal it it was not there on the original image that we uploaded but you can see the pink shade and you can now pick one of these images and then you you know you can uh, upscale it you can do a lot of things with this and this this is where the potential of image blending lies in and uh, i think um, i think mid journey does it much better than a lot of other services that are available especially when it comes to image blending so so far in this video we learned about image blending we learned about two different ways to do image blending and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise i would love to know what you feel about this feature which is um, the especially the blend slash blend command is completely new if you have any other question let me know in the comment section otherwise i'll see you in the next video happy prompting